How did San Diego home prices do in January? Did we have more or less sales? We're going to check out the numbers in this San Diego real estate market update special. The Mortgage Minute presented by me, Laura Borja, your San Diego home loan expert. Overall, the San Diego real estate market is holding pretty steady. By the way, all of the figures we're going to be going over are from reports published by the San Diego Association of Realtors. I will put a link to their website in the video description. We are going to go over what I consider to be the top five categories of the data published by SDAR. And we're going to begin with the number of closed sales. The numbers do look a little scary for January when we compare them to December 2016, but don't panic. This drop is a seasonal adjustment. January tends to be the low point of activity for closings, and that is because December is normally the low point for new listings. Next comes the all-important median sales price. There was a little bit of a dip in the median price of single-family homes in January as compared to December, but overall, median sales prices continue to trend upwards, with detached properties coming in at a median price of $559,500 and attached properties at $378,750. The next three categories are going to give us an indication of whether we're in a seller's market or a buyer's market. And we're going to start off with percent of original price. Sellers saw a small increase in the percentage of the original listing price that they received for properties sold in January. The increase is not huge, but it is trending back towards where we were mid-year in 2016. Next comes days on market, and that's how many days the home was listed before a contract was accepted. This category is one where red is good. It means that it's taking less days to sell a home. Condos continue to sell quicker than single family homes with a huge drop compared to this time last year. Our last category is inventory of homes available for sale. In January, the number of homes listed for sale and available for you to purchase continued to decrease. The biggest drop comes when we compare the inventory to a year ago. There were almost a quarter less detached properties and a third less attached properties available for sale compared to January of 2016. The conclusion, the San Diego real estate market is definitely still a seller's market. Prices continue to increase, though at a slower pace, homes are selling much quicker, and the inventory continues to decrease. It's a great time if you're a seller. If you're a buyer, however, don't get discouraged. The inventory is declining. However, there's still a ton of homes available out there. In January, there were more than 4,700 properties listed for sale, and more than 3,600 of those were brand new listings. The key is to have the right team. You need a realtor who's going to be proactive and aggressive in presenting your offers. Let me know if you need a referral to one. And you need a lender who is going to properly prepare you for the loan approval process so that you are ready to go whenever the perfect property comes your way. And of course, I'm nominating myself for that job. There you have it. A look at the San Diego real estate market in January. If you have any questions about real estate, mortgage, if you're ready to get yourself ready to become a homeowner, if you need a referral to a realtor, please reach out to me. You can send me an email, give me a call, shoot me a text, connect with me on social media. Thanks so much for watching this week's The Mortgage Minute with a special real estate market update report. Don't forget to hit the like button. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'll see you next week.